This is the bat Doppler demonstration. And what we're going to show here is the Doppler effect increased, boosted, doppled, if you like, the Doppel Doppler. And what we've got here is uh, an ultrasonic emitter. We're going to demonstrate the Doppler effect, uh, which is a frequency shift due to a moving object, uh, using an ultrasound source, not a sonic source. So, of course, I can switch this ultrasonic emitter on, and you'll see the red LED tells you it's on, but it emits 40 kilohertz, which we can't hear. But we can convert that 40 kilohertz into a lower frequency using a bat detector like this one. This will convert 40 kilohertz to 2 kilohertz. When we turn it up, it converts the inaudible ultrasound at 40 kilohertz into an audible sound at 2 kilohertz. And we can demonstrate the Doppler effect just in my hands here. So as you move towards it with the 40 kilohertz emitter, the pitch goes up, and when I go away, the pitch goes down. Towards high pitch, away, lower pitch. So we're now going to put this on the track, and you'll hear the Doppler effect as it goes around the track. You'll hear. So let's set the vehicle going. I'm going to put this on the track. And you should be able to hear. It'll go high pitched as it's coming towards me, and low pitched as it goes away. So the pitch going up as it comes towards, down as it goes away. And coming towards us, the pitch going up and down, going away. So this effect, of course, is seen uh, with bats. Bats use the Doppler shift of ultrasound in order to navigate, stopping them bumping into things. They also use it for hunting their prey, because their prey move relative to things that are stationary. And they can detect the difference in Doppler shift, and then they can hunt in that way.